For me, it's a scientific question. Should the printed textbook go away? And that, that data is not there yet, and we have, to no. keep, we have to keep developing materials and comparing them and doing the science behind which one leads to better outcomes and learning and fine-tuning our digital platforms in a way that leads to better learning over time. In around 2011, 2012, we did a massive course redesign at Missouri State University of Intro Psychology. So we took a traditional large uh, lecture class and flipped it where we actually then did a blended flipped class and implemented a lot of technology in the class we'd never used before. And we took student data about what kind of concepts they're struggling with to inform what we would do in class. Um, we had great success with that. We ended up improving student learning. We ended up drastically cutting the number of students who got a D or an F or withdrew from the class. And it's that actual experience that led us, we were working with Pearson at the time with a different product, that led us to start thinking about, well, if we can do that here at Missouri State with these 1,500, 2,500 students, could we design materials to do the same thing with a large group of people around the country or even around the globe? So it was kind of like, wait a minute, could we scale this up even bigger? So that's what kind of led us to, to consider doing this first edition psychology textbook which really I don't even think about as a textbook. I think about it as a digital learning program.